Hello friends, this video on Water a Precious Resource Part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Explain the factors responsible for the depletion of water table. Now why is water table getting lost? So one important reason is overpopulation. Now population is increasing, needs of people are increasing and therefore uh, people are using more and more water. So the groundwater is depleting. Groundwater used for construction purposes. So in the construction side, people, they are doing boring and then they are utilizing the groundwater for construction. Lesser open areas. Now it is groundwater gets refilled by rainwater and other water reservoirs through open areas because it is easier for water to seep through the soil. Now when you have cemented floor, so the refilling of groundwater also becomes difficult and these days the open areas are reducing a lot. Increasing industries and factories. Now these factories and industries first of all they utilize a lot of water, they also cause pollution to a lot of water bodies and they also utilize the space which was earlier used for recharging the groundwater because when the space was empty at least uh, rainfall was able to reach below the ground and that's how groundwater could have been refilled. Now because of the construction of industries or factories that is also not possible so in too much of industries and factories also harm the water table. Agricultural needs. Now, even today, a lot in a lot of places, the process of irrigation, which takes place with the help of groundwater, that does it, that happens with the traditional method. And in the traditional methods of irrigation, a lot of water gets wasted. So it so that is also so much of water gets used up for agricultural needs, and it results in depletion of the water table. Question number six: Fill in the blanks with appropriate answers. People obtain groundwater through dash and dash. So what are the devices which helps us to bring groundwater and thus use them for our purpose? So one thing is tube wells. Tube wells use groundwater. They obtain groundwater. The other example are the hand pumps. Three forms of water are dash, dash and dash. Now water exists in all the three forms, solid, liquid as well as gas. Now example of solid form of water could be ice, liquid form of water is nothing but the liquid water and gaseous form of water is the water vapor. The water bearing layer of the earth is so that layer below the surface of the earth which is filled with water, so water below the layer of rocks that is called aquifer. The process of water seepage into the ground is called, so how water seeps through the soil and goes below and reaches the and forms the groundwater. So this process is called infiltration because water actually passes through the pores between the soil, so the spaces between the soil particles, the spaces between the rocks. So through those spaces the water seeps into the ground. So that is why it is called infiltration. Question number seven. Which one of the following is not responsible for water shortage? So here we have uh, sub, some of the examples. Rapid growth of industries, now too much establishment of industries causes water shortage. Increasing population, obviously it causes water shortage because increasing population it results in increasing demand for water. Heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall doesn't really cause water shortage, instead it refills the groundwater. So it provides more water, so it increases the water supply. So heavy rainfall is not responsible for water shortage. Question number 8. Choose the correct option. The total water in the lakes and rivers of the world remains constant. Under the ground remains constant. In the seas and oceans remain constant. Of the world remains constant. So if you talk about which water remains constant, it is the total water of the world because whenever we are saying that water is getting wasted, at the end of the day that water is going somewhere. So let's say that uh, you keep your tap open even when you are not using that water. So where is that water going? So maybe that water is flowing through your basin, through your basin it is going to the pipelines and then again it is going to uh, maybe the ground and it is going to or sometimes the dirty water gets into the you know the dirty canals. 
So whether the water gets polluted, the water gets wasted, it remains somewhere within the world. So, the, so we can say that the total water of the world remains constant because if you talk about any specific location, for example, total water under the ground doesn't remain constant because when we, as we keep utilizing the groundwater, the um, quantity of groundwater reduces and it is not necessary that the way we utilize groundwater will be equal to the way the groundwater is refilled. So therefore groundwater will not remain constant. Similarly, if you talk about the lakes or the rivers or the oceans, so there also the quantity of water doesn't remain constant. Now sometimes that water might get utilized for some other purpose. So the quantity will not remain constant. But if, if you talk about the total water of the world, it remains constant. Now, then you might ask, then why are we so much bothered about wasting water? So it is somewhere there. The problem is that we cannot utilize all of the water. Now, as I had mentioned to you before, so if you have a 20 liters bucket of water, all that is available for our use is just a spoon, a tablespoon of water. So when you are wasting that water, so some of the water is going to the unusable form. So we are not able to use it over it again. So that is why it is a concern because we want more water to be present in the usable form so that they can be utilized by all living organisms because water is needed for the sustenance of living organisms. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on water, a precious resource would have helped you and you would have actually understand the significance of water. So please try to uh, understand the concepts, please try to, try to Please try to implement these tips to save water in your day to day life and let us all join our hands together to save water. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.